take a look at our tale of the tape brought to you by Socios.com. Akhmedov is four years older than Teodoros Ochtuolas. Both men six feet tall, weighed in under the light heavyweight limit. Reach advantage favors Teodoros Ochtuolas in the arms and the legs. Lillian, let's go. It's nonstop action here in the PFL as we head back to the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he specializes in judo. Standing at six feet even, he weighs in at 204 pounds. In 17 professional fights, he has a record of 11 wins and six losses, with nine victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Uckmerge, Lithuania, here is Theodoris Okstolens. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, he also stands at six feet tall, weighing in at 203 and one quarter pounds. This mixed martial artist has a record of 22 wins, seven losses, and one draw, with 14 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, here is Umori Armino. Your referee in charge, Ken McDonald. Omari Akhmedov in the yellow trunks, Teodoros Ochoolis in the black and gray. Ref Cam is on. Uh, you know, Teodoros Ochoolis talked about he likes to give gifts. He actually gave us some chocolate, and uh, that disappeared into Randy Couture's hotel. I know. It was dark chocolate. They should have never told me dark chocolate was good for me. <laughs> Well, I'm not fighting for it, I'll tell you that right now. Sean, that was all you. We are underway here at 205 pounds. Oakstool is taking the center of the smart cage. Akhmedov stepping in behind a quick jab. said he wanted to be a little bit more conservative in his approach. Oxtrawa said he wanted to go out there and put on a show for the fans. He wanted an exciting fight, and he wants a finish. And you can see it in his eyes, he wants one. Both of these men showing a lot of respect for the other's speed and power. Oxtrawa is continuing to press. Nice level change. Beautiful level change, switches off to the head outside single, runs the pipe, and gets Oxtrawa on the ground. Nice second effort by Armeda. He told us this is what he wanted to do in this fight. He feels he has a strong advantage on the ground as he goes and passes. Passes to half guard. There's De La Monte. Pulled off a big upset earlier tonight. Bud Light Lounge having a Bud Light. On the bubble right now, hoping to make the playoffs at 205 pounds. Oh, Schwalisch needs to be careful with that left arm that's framing. There's Akhmedov, he's gonna set up that arm triangle right there, he's already trying to set it up. The fight being on the ground here favors Omari Akhmedov in more ways than one as he's in this top position because Teodoros Oxtuolis came in with zero points, which means he needs a first round finish to keep his hopes for the playoffs alive. For Akhmedov, he came in with six points. A win of any kind secures him a playoff spot. This is a nice position here for Akhmedov. Posting that head on the mat, trying to get it underneath the arm. That would be a much better position to set up that arm triangle. He's doing so now. See if he can get that head back to the mat. And then if he can pass to the left side of Akhmedov, he can hit that sub. Akhmedov looking to free his right leg. Akhmedov at the moment hanging on for dear life. There, it's close. Akhmedov almost got it. Oxtola turned the wrong way. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Nice wow. scramble there from Oxtola. Oxtola's with full hope there. <laughs> I keep waiting for him to turn green. It reminds <laughs> me of a young Luke Ferrigno. It really does. Akhmedov closes the guard. Oxtola will try and figure things out here from the top position. Yeah, Akhmedov got a little too stable to his opponent as opposed to the floor. That's why he got rolled. Oxwallis, excellent timing there on that bridge. Right hand able to sneak over the top there. And another from Teodoros Oxtuolis. 
Steps back into the closed guard of Omari Akhmedov. Well, Strolls can steal this round. If he's able to land some big grounded pound, he can steal it. Nice push. Now Akhmedov and then scrambles into that low single, finds his way back to his feet. Puts Ostrolis on Silly Street. And Oris is hurt. Picking his shots oh, but he landed one in return. There's another left hand from Ostrolis. Back and forth in this striking exchange. Oh, oh right hand from Omari Akhmedov. Beautiful one-two combination there from Akhmedov. Ostrolis appears to have recovered. Looks lucid. <laughs> Another stiff jab from Akhmedov. Oh! Right hand. Chin on display here from Teodoro Sokstrolis. Yeah, I see a real big difference in Akhmedov just in his striking. He's much looser than we saw last season. Way more efficient. Lighter on his feet. Rips another overhand right. He's found a home for that right hand. Holy cow. Left goes to the body. Inside of 10 seconds as they clash in the center of the smart cage. Oxtrola swings wildly and loses his footing. Omari Akhmedov finishes on top, and round two is next. Round two. Fighter performance rating favors Omari Akhmedov, who rocked Oxtrolis a couple times in that first round. But the Lithuanian is still very much alive in this fight. Nice jab from Akhmedov. Look at the Randy cam here. Gonna watch for that right hand of, Akhmar, <coughs> of Omar Akhmedov. He keeps dipping his head, a little level change, and he throws that light hand, and he's setting that very up, very well with that jab. He's rocked Akstulis with it at least once in this fight so far. Akhmedov got, has to be careful ducking down too low, though. There it is, oh, right beautiful there. Beautiful right hand. There's a little level change, and he throws that overhand right, and it lands almost every time he throws it. Good left hand from Oxtuolis. Nothing to follow it up to. Oh, oh! dropped it with a jab. Teodoros Oxtuolis was able to put Amari Akhmedov down. But now the fighter, the pioneer from Dagestan, is holding on for dear life, trying to recover. is starting to get posture here. Akhmedov doing a good job of getting to that single leg. Second there, time we've seen him use that to get off the bottom. He kicks away with his heels. It gives him the space to go into that low single and scramble to his feet. Someone's bleeding a little bit. We'll find out who that is. I think it might be the nose of Amari Akhmedov. No, it's a cut above the eye. Starting to leak. Yeah, it might have been a forearm that dropped Akhmedov. And I think that might have been what cut him. Oh, now he's in the mount. Full mount position, much better position to, to secure that arm triangle from than that half guard he was trying to do it from earlier in the first round. An admirable recovery here from Omari Akhmedov, who temporarily was in trouble earlier in this round. Now he's full mount, legs laced. He's trying for that arm triangle. You can see him scooping his head and ear on that, trying to trap that tricep and slide in. Oxtulis doing a pretty good job of countering it. He needs to talk on the phone right now and create some space and protect his neck. Made up trying to slide him inside. He's got it. It's in. Squeeze. Yeah, he's going to finish this. Very tight. Very tight. Oxtulis might go out. He's out. out. Unconscious. Amaria Fedov. Submission victory in the second round for five points and clinches himself a spot in the light heavyweight playoffs. Lillian Garcia makes this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin McDonald has called a halt to the bout at two minutes and 50 seconds.
of round number two. Your winner by technical submission via arm triangle choke, earning five points in the light heavyweight division and clinching a spot in the 2022 PFL playoffs, Umari!